What if you could find a rare vintage restored station wagon that's very affordable? Or one of only 2,000 ever built rare two door hardtops? Or a very nice collectible cool Mercury that won't destroy your pocketbook? Then I have found for you guys and gals 10 such cars in today's video, so stick around and let's get into the video. Hello American Rod Shop family. Welcome back into another episode of American Rod Shop. My name is Solon and this is your fastest growing automotive entertainment channel on YouTube today. And in today's video, we're going to showcase and check out 10 classic cars that are up for sale on the internet and all are from the 1950s. Now there's one car from every year of the 50s showcased. And these are affordable and will fit everyone's price range from low to high. These are very nice cars which you can purchase, jump in, and start cruising immediately. I do want to pause for a moment and let everyone know that won a prize in our big 30,000 subscriber giveaway event. That is of yesterday. If you have already emailed me, then your prize has been mailed out to you. So you should be getting that prize within a few days. I do appreciate every one of you being viewers and subscribers. And that was my way of giving back to the community. Now stick around towards the end of this video because we'll be finding out who won the Hot Wheels Pro Modified Dragster Diecast car we gave away in the last regular video. And then we'll showcase another Hot Wheels to be given away in the next upcoming regular video as well. So stay tuned for that. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video with number one. 1956 Ford Mainline, listed in Smithville, Mississippi, for $12,500. Up for sale is this classic two-toned blue and white 1956 Ford mainline two-door sedan. It is powered by a 351 Cleveland engine with an automatic four-speed transmission with overdrive and this car runs and drives great. Although this 56 is not in showroom quality, it still displays very, very well. It features a beautiful blue and white matching row pleated design interior that's in great condition making it very comfortable for long drives. The body does have some rust in the normal places and a few clear coat issues with the paint, but it still draws attention when parked. Glass is all good, chrome displays well, and it has new chrome five-spoke mags and tires that give it a slight custom look. This car is very cool and great for cruising and will turn heads wherever you go. The seller is asking for $12,500 or best offer, and it comes with a clean title. So guys, here you go. The first one up is a 1956 Ford Mainland that is powered by a Ford engine. So let me know what you think about it in the comments. I think this one's just pretty sharp. I think it's at a great price as well. Let me know what you think. Now, if you see a car or truck in this video that you would like to check out, all you have to do is go over to this video's description, click on the word more, and when the description expands downward, scroll down till you find the car that you're looking for. Click on the link underneath that and it'll take you straight to the ad where the car is at for sale. Now, if the ad does not appear, that means that probably by now the car may have sold. Some of these are really great prices and they don't last very long. Now, number two is up there a little bit on being pricey, but man, is it ready to show or go. 1958 Chevrolet Impala Custom with the original 348 Tri-Power Motor. Listed for $34,500 in Stanton Island, New York. For sale is this Burgundy 1958 Chevrolet Impala Custom with an original 82,000 miles on it. This is an old school custom build that is in excellent condition. It is powered by a 348 Tri-Power engine that's mated up to the original 3-speed manual transmission. This car is being sold by its third owner, who purchased it from the second owner, who had owned it ever since 1966. It was always garage kept, well maintained, and it features such custom items as a custom front grille, shaved door and truck handles, fender skirts, and it also received a louvered hood. 
It features 1956 Chevy taillights, a custom matching white and burgundy interior that is nice. Any chrome was also redone. New glass and the paint is in near perfect condition. Way too many more customs and upgrades to list here. This car has absolutely no rust or bodywork needed and professional inspections are welcomed. The seller is motivated to sell as asking a negotiable $34,500 of best offer and it comes with a clean title. All I can say is, wow, guys, wow, this number two came out of the door rocking. Let me know what you think about it. I think this is one very beautiful customized car. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Number three, 1950 Lincoln Mercury listed in Birmingham, Alabama for $8,000. Been marked down from $15,000. Now, guys, I'm going to go ahead and call this one. The best deal in the videos tonight. And it's not just because it's from where I live at in Birmingham, but because Mercury's are very collectible, and this one's just about got it all and is great priced. Up for sale is this mostly original, old school style, mildly custom 1950 Lincoln four-door that is a throwback look to the 1950s. It features factory suicide doors and is powered by the original V8 flathead engine with three-speed manual transmission and shifter on the column, and it runs and drives great. It sports the very hard-to-find Fulton visor and was painted red several years back, but still displays nicely. It was given a restoration to the gray interior based on the original design specifications, and it looks very nice today. is very comfortable. It also received a brand new carpet over very solid floor pans. The body is solid, super straight, and all the chrome shines up nicely. There is a small rust area starting in the trunk area that will need attention eventually. This car makes a great daily head turning driver and it's a very easy start to any custom Mercury project. Seller is asking a very low $8,000 or best offer and is motivated to sell. And it comes with a clean title. So guys, let me know if you think this one's the good deal by the end of this video or not. I appreciate it. Okay, let's pause and check out my Tri-5 Chevy Project Finds segment where I try to each week on the internet look up and try to find what I think is the best deal for an investment of a project car in the 1955, 56, or 57 Chevrolet car line. 1957 Chevrolet Classic Hardtop listed in Festus, Missouri and has been marked down from $22,500 to $18,500. For sale with 15,000 miles on the new installed motor is this gold-colored 1957 Bel Air two-door hardtop. The car is all original metal and paint other than the passenger fender, which was repainted. The body does have some rust areas that will need attention, as can be seen in the photographs, but should be easily repairable. The floors are solid with new matching gold and black seat covers, new carpet, and new headliner being recently added. Many upgrades and repairs have already been taken care of, which includes new gas tank and lines, all new brake lines, new rear drums, and new front disc brakes. It has been completely rewired, and a new aluminum radiator was installed. It is powered by a GM crate motor with a cam, coupled up to a rebuilt 350 turbo transmission. The seller states that this is a very reliable, great-running 57, and has driven it around 4,500 miles already this year, with no issues. This car was an original barn find which has set since 1973 and is an easy start to turn into an amazing classic build or great street rod. Seller is asking $18,500 or best offer and it comes with a clean title. So guys here I think is a very apportionately priced 57. Needs a little work on the body but I think overall that's a good deal. Interior is all done. It said it had solid floor pans. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Let's pause for a moment and check out a moment in history where I present a historical car that's not up for sale, but very interesting to talk about. This 1950s Buick flower car was based on the Buick Special or Buick Supermodels. Buick was known for its stylish, powerful cars, making it a suitable base for conversion into a flower car. Specialized coach building companies such as Eureka, Henny, and Superior Coach Company were responsible for converting standard Buick vehicles into flower cars. 
These conversions involve significant modifications to the rear end section of the 1950 Buick flower car and features a rear deck designed to hold flowers securely during transport and funeral processions. The interior was often luxurious, reflecting the solemn and respectful nature of its use. Only around 250 of the 1950 Buick flower cars were known to be produced, and very, very few still remain today. Number 4. 1951 Ford Business Coupe, listed in Nashville, Tennessee, for $10,000. Up for sale by its third owner is this old-school hot rod, and that is a red 1951 Ford Business Coupe that runs and drives great. It is powered by a vintage rebuilt Cadillac motor and transmission from out of a hearse. The engine is a 331 cubic inch motor with new 9 to 1 pistons and a new Edelbrock carburetor on a 1955 Caddy manifold. Upgrades include new disc brakes on the front and a Mustang rear end with 3.0 to 1 gear ratio. Heat and AC unit has been installed under the dash that works good. A black and red custom velour interior with bucket seats was added that complements the exterior. The body, which is solid and rust-free, was given a classic red paint job matched up with old-school chrome reverse to top off the exterior look. The glass is good and any chrome displays nicely, and the seller is asking a very low $10,000 or best offer, and it comes with a clean title. Number 5. 1952 Ford Ranch King Station Wagon marked down from 11500 to 10350 and listed in Canton, Michigan. With the exception of the new seat covers, this is an all-near-original brown 1952 Ford Ranch King two-door station wagon with an original 58,000 miles on it. This two-door body style is exceptionally hard to find, especially in such a nice condition as this one and at a very low asking price. This 52 Ford has been garage kept and well maintained all of its life and is powered by the original flathead V8 engine and three speed column manual transmission. The carburetor has been rebuilt and recently new brakes and a new fuel pump was installed and it runs and drives very well. This is a solid car that is rust free, needs no body work, and the original paint still displays nicely for its age. The interior floor pan is solid and has recently received new carpet and new seat covers. Still has the original headliner, which is in great shape. You cannot find a more desirable classic car than this 1952 Ford Ranch King two-door station wagon. The seller is asking an exceptionally low $10,350 or best offer. Okay, we're going to stop here and check out my It Came From The Internet segment. Now, this is where I go on the internet each week and try to find the wildest, craziest, maybe the most customized, maybe even the most vintage or the most rarest vehicle I can find on there and present it up for sale. 1939 GMC Future Liner, listed for $998,900 in Springfield, Massachusetts. Only one of 12 ever built, this is an extremely rare opportunity to own one of the most famous vehicles ever built by GM. This vehicle is restored in the late 1990s and has been retrofitted with a Detroit diesel 471 engine and Allison automatic transmission. The original gas engine and transmission are included with it in the cell. It runs and drives down the highway very well at 50 miles per hour plus. The light bar works, side doors open and close properly, and the steering was upgraded with power assist. This vehicle is used regularly for shows and events, and this is believed to be number seven of the 12 built by GM for the famous Parades of Progress. The seller is asking $998,900 and will only consider serious offers. So guys, this is the first one of these I've ever seen other than in old ads in old magazines. Let me know if you've ever seen one of these in the comments. I think this thing is beautiful. You know, it's real expensive, probably something the very rich could enjoy. But otherwise than that, I think it's incredible. Never seen one before. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Number six, 1954 Chrysler New Yorker Deluxe Club Coupe, 
listed in Milford, Ohio, for $11,500. For sale is this very rare green New Yorker Deluxe two-door club coupe with 99,495 original miles on it. Only 1,861 of these cars were ever built. It is powered by a recently rebuilt 331 cubic inch Hemi engine with a four-barrel WCFB carburetor, and that is coupled up to a rebuilt PowerFlight two-speed automatic transmission, and it runs and drives great. This car is a clone tribute to Lee Petty, NASCAR champion of 1954, and will always draw a crowd whenever you park it or drive it somewhere. The original green paint still displays nicely, but is faded in some areas. This car was always garage kept, and the original interior looks incredible, as well as all the chrome, which displays nicely. This car does need inner and outer rocker panels, and there's a very small spot that needs to be repaired in the trunk floor. This car features power brakes, and it stops as it should. The seller's asking a very reasonable $11,500 or best offer, and it comes with a clean title. Hey, and listen up, if you don't find your dream car or truck in this video, then I suggest you check out the other four videos that I dropped in the last week or so. There are still a lot of great cars in those videos for sale, and who knows, you just might find your dream car in one of those videos. Also, if you haven't done so yet, please like, subscribe, and share. It won't cost you a dime, but it'll help this little channel to grow. And if you will, at the end of this video, let me know in the comments what was your favorite car in all of the whole video. If you do that, I appreciate it. I thank you for the feedback. Number seven, 1955 Chevrolet Bel Air Custom, listed for $8,500 in West Columbia, South Carolina. Now, normally I don't list such cars as this one up for sale in my listings, but I could not resist such a piece of racing history from West Columbia, South Carolina, where I know racing is big. But this one, the seller does not list a whole lot of information about it, other than it's a vintage stock car racer. It's a 1955 Chevrolet Bel Air. You saw the video. He said the video says it all. The car is ready to go, ready to race, should you want to race it. But uh, if I had it, I think I'd just restore it. These cars are quickly becoming a very desirable item to restore back to full original vintage racing condition. And they sell for a lot of money once they're restored that way. Tell me what you think about it in the comments. If you'd like to see maybe uh, a car like these listed every now and then or so, I'd be glad to do it for you guys. This one, I think, is just absolutely awesome. I love these old cars. I used to build model cars like these cars when I was a kid. Take a regular model, chop them down, build your own custom road cage in them, repaint them the way you wanted them to, put your name on the side, put your sticker on it. It was a lot of fun. Tell me what you did with your models like this, or if you ever built any like this one in the comments. Number eight, 1957 Volkswagen Beetle, listed in Spring, Texas for $15,000. Up for sale is this great Flat black custom 1957 VW Beetle built on an RS pan with a full air ride and it runs and drives great. All parts on this bug are new which include a rebuilt 1600 dual port engine and rebuilt manual transmission with a Hurst shifter. A Fab Shop 104 narrowed beam. New brake drums with wide 5 conversion. New fully functioning sliding rag top. Polished 5 spoke wheels with new tires. New TMI seats with matching black pleated upholstery. New stainless trim. 
new wiring harness, new bullet running boards, new wood slat roof rack, new glass, and many more upgrades and repairs. Too many to list here. This car has solid floor pans and the body is solid and rust free and was painted satin flat black along with orange insets to give it a cool custom look. This awesome head turning VW Bug is ready to go with no worries and the seller is asking $15,000 or best offer and it comes with a clean title. So let me know what you think about this 1957 Volkswagen Beetle. You don't see too many 1957 Beetles up for sale and this one is already finished out and ready to go. Just want to pause for a moment to show you guys and gals what a cool way to recycle an old classic truck or car. Never thought about this before, but this guy used an old, what appears to be a, maybe an international pickup. It's all rusted out, rotted out, probably not usable. I made a beautiful rear garden fountain for it. Time to get some landscape with flowers around it and plants. It's just going to look amazing. I thought I'd share that with you. Saw that on the internet. I thought it was so cool. Number nine. 1959 Ford Edsel Corsair. Listed in Bowling Green, Kentucky for $10,000. Up for sale is this very rare, all numbers matching, red 1959 Ford Edsel Corsair two-door hardtop with an original 60,000 miles on it. This car is in excellent condition with a very solid body and the original red paint still displays nicely. With only 2,013 units produced of this make and model, it is one of the most rare sought after models by auto enthusiasts. This 1959 Edsel Corsair two door hardtop is powered by the original 345 horsepower, 410 cubic inch male V8 engine with a four barrel carburetor. It comes equipped with Edsel's Teletouch automatic transmission as standard, and it runs and drives great. The beige interior is all there, complete, but the seats will need some reupholstering. Floor pans are solid, as well as the trunk area, and the new trunk liner has been installed. All glass is good, and everything electrical works well. If you're looking for a rare daily cruiser that will make either a great restoration project or a super cool street ride, then this is the one for you. Sellers asking an extremely low 10000 or best offer, and this one comes with a clean title. Okay, we made it to number 10, but if you'd like to stick around after we showcase this car, then we're going to find out who won that Hot Wheels, and we'll be showcasing another Hot Wheels to be given away in the next upcoming video. Number 10, 1953 Buick 40 Special, listed in Columbus, Ohio. For $10,500. Up for sale by its third owner is this very nice green 1953 Buick Special four door sedan with 62,000 original miles. Until the current owner purchased it recently, it was owned by the previous owner since 1971 who had bought it from the original purchaser. This car has always been well maintained and garage kept, and the solid body received a new paint job just a few years back. It still displays nicely. It still sports the original wheels with the original hubcaps and an older set of belted white walled tires. The Sunday carriage is good and the floors are solid and the interior is still all original. The driver's seat does have a small repair and the dash is good and everything electrical works great with the exception of the radio. It is powered by the original straight 8 263 cubic inch engine and it always fires right up and runs and drives great. This car is a great way to enter into the car collector hobby without tying up a lot of money. An original car at a very low asking price of $10,500 and it does come with a clean title. So guys, there is number 10. Let me know what you think about the last one in the lineup for tonight. What do you think about this 53 Buick four-door sedan? Let me know in the comments. Okay, it's time to find out who won the Hot Wheels that we showcased last week for giveaway for tonight. And it's this Pro Modified Dragster. I think it's a 1923 Ford. We're going to go over to raffledash.com. We'll put in the URL code for last week's video. Hit select comment. The winner is James Brandt, 1244. Congratulations, James Brandt. You are the winner. 
You've got seven days to contact me at AmericanRodShop at Yahoo.com, and I'll give you details on how to collect your totally free prize without any cost to you. Congratulations, James. Contact me at AmericanRodShop at Yahoo.com. Okay, we're going to change it up a little bit and not give away a Hot Wheels. I think we'll give away this very hard-to-find Matchbox 1970 Ford Bronco. A really hard one to find. I think these come like one to a case whenever they open up at the store. This one goes for about $7 to $10 on eBay if you can include shipping. Now, all you got to do if you want a chance to win this one is the four things I always tell you to do, and that is subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and then go ahead and hit the like button for this video. Drop the letters MB in the comments and enter as often as you like. If you do those four things, you'll be entered in to win. Now, if you happen to be looking for a gift for a loved one who enjoys watching this channel, then I suggest you check out the American Rod Shop store. In there, you'll find such great items as t-shirts, coffee mugs, mouse pads, hoodies, posters, and much, much more. And the sale of all these items goes back into supporting this channel. I'll put the link over in the description for your convenience. And don't forget, Christmas is not that far away either. Thank you everybody for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Be sure to hit the like, subscribe, and share button. I love you all. I'll see you guys and gals in the next upcoming video.